Apple doesn't believe in the autonomous vehicle, so why should you? Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Apptrepreneur, and Apple is one of the companies that was getting in the autonomous vehicle business. And a lot of companies have gotten in this business. This is the future of your cars. This is the future of transportation for us to not drive our own cars, for the computers to drive them. And I have been very, very skeptical of this the entire time. Now, a lot of people have made cases for why they believe that they will be a real thing. And I have made my cases for why I believe they will not be a real thing mainly because they have never been able to answer the common sense questions. Who controls the car? Who? What happens when the car breaks down? If it speeds, who gets a speeding ticket? And here's the thing, the only way the cars actually work is if one company owns all the cars, has the entire network, and has them all talking. Competing networks don't like talking to one another, so that becomes a problem. So unless the cars are listed as a public utility, then, then you know, you're basically handing Monopoly over. But, you know, Google, Uber, um, Ford, all these companies continue to pour millions and millions of dollars into the technology. One company, however, is slightly scaling it back a little bit. Whether it's because they don't believe in it or anymore, who knows, but that would be Apple. And I'm not going to come here and say that Apple has their pulse on the community. In fact, they kind of don't anymore. I There's a reason their products are starting to sell a little bit less because they stopped innovating a long time ago. Although I have a lot of viewers who swear by Apple and a lot of friends and my brother, my fiance. Frankly, I think the best thing they ever did was the iPod Classic, to be honest. But hey, they, have, they were working on a driverless cars. They obviously thought there was something to it, but it looks like they're cooling on that because according to CNBC, they have just dismissed more than 200 employees from the autonomous vehicle group. According to the article, Apple dismissed just over 200 employees this week from Project Titan, its stealthy autonomous vehicle group people familiar with the matter told CNBC. An Apple spokesperson acknowledged the layoffs and said the company still sees opportunity in the space. Quote, we have an incredibly talented team working on autonomous systems and associated technologies at Apple. As the team focuses their work on several key areas for 2019, some groups are being moved to projects in other parts of the company where they will support machine learning and other initiatives across all of Apple. We continue to believe there is a huge opportunity with autonomous systems, that Apple has unique capabilities to contribute, and this is the most ambitious machine learning project ever, they added. You know what they also said about this? Like two years before the iPod Classic was officially discontinued, they wrote something very similar to this, how we're not giving up on the iPod brand, which in all fairness, they didn't completely give up on it. We're just moving people to other departments and they still make iPod products, but I think what they do now, I think the iPod is essentially an iPhone without phone capabilities. Like, you know, you can connect to a wire to a wired network and download some apps and stuff, but you can't like talk on the phone and you can't do it wireless anymore in the sense that, you know, you can't stream music. Um, or maybe they do, like I haven't looked at their new iPods, but their iPod division essentially folded shortly after making an announcement, it's very similar to this one, where they said, oh no, we're just moving people to other departments, but the iPod's still important. And then the iPod got folded into the phones. So when Apple lays people off, <laughs> Make no mistake, they are considering moving away from a project or spending considerably less resources in it. It's almost kind of like, you know, the Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi thing, like these aren't the droids you're looking for. And instead it's like, the, it's like this isn't the admission admission of defeat on autonomous vehicles you're looking for. We We fully believe in autonomous technology. We believe this is the future. We just don't feel like spending a lot of money on it. That's kind of how it is. In August 2018, Apple enlisted a Tesla engineering vice president and Apple veteran Doug Field to lead the Titan team alongside Bob Mansfield. This week's dismissals from the group were seen internally as anticipated restructuring under the relatively new leadership. Other employees who were impacted by the restructuring of Project Ti Titan are staying at Apple but moving to different parts of the company. Of late, Apple CEO Tim Cook has touted his company's initiatives and health as key to its future growth. Quote, I believe if you zoom out into the future and you look back and you ask the question, what was Apple's greatest contribution to mankind? It will be about health, Cook told CNBC's Jim Cramer. 
Interesting quote. I don't know why they brought it up here. Meanwhile, Apple executives have remained mum in recent months on the company's car prospects, which appear to have been scaled back from the initial rumored vehicle to a focus on software. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Apple had for a long time been considering... Apple considers a lot of products. One of the things that I remember them talking about was the Apple TV. Like, not the little box that we went to, but like, you know, an actual TV TV. And Steve Jobs had apparently cracked it, but they never released it. And I don't know why. And they are also considering the Apple car, which makes a lot of sense. I could actually imagine them just making a regular car, but hey, it's integrated with the iOS software and all of your apps and services. So yeah, I actually, that actually made a lot of sense. I don't know why they didn't do that. So Apple backs off on things. And usually a statement like this is the first indication that they're getting out of it. Um, let's see here. In 2016, Apple laid off employees from the same group shifting its strategy. Well, there you have it. Fully self-driving cars remain experimental, even for major players in the field, such as Waymo, Cruise, and Tesla. And Tesla is having a lot of trouble, too. Maybe we'll make a video about that. Venture investors and strategic investors from the traditional uh, automotive world have poured billions into startups developing self-driving vehicles, including Zooks, Pony.ai, Aurora, May Mobility, Embark, and others. So, yeah, um, it's not been stated, and I don't want to, like, claim definitively that I know what's going to happen. But in my opinion, the self-driving car is effectively dead at Apple for the time being. It, you know, and here's the thing. 200 employees from this autonomous vehicle group. I don't know how many people they have in that group, but that sounds like a lot. Most groups, that's a lot for a development group. It really is. So I think they just got rid of the whole staff or they're repurposing them or something like that. And they're probably going to keep like maybe a dozen or two of them around to kind of see the market, feel it out, continue experimenting with it. But you hire that many people when you get serious about developing a product. And what happens if they restructure like this, it means they've been developing the product. It means they're working on it. It means something about it just is not working. And I don't know what that is. The article doesn't say Apple's not saying so, but I believe the project is definitely in trouble. It is definitely in trouble. So for those of you who wanted to be in the self-driving car, uh, well, gotta wait another three years, I suppose. But what says you? What do you take from this um, announcement? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I would love to know. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even those $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.